Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your reading. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Sag with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what's going on here. How is Sagittarius coming to the reading? All right, oh, so Sag, that flipped out in reverse. So you're not accepting of something, you're not accepting of yourself, of some reconciliation or someone's not accepting you. Um, you don't feel like you're on the right path. Um, you don't feel like you're hanging around the right people. You don't feel like you are getting the attention, the attention uh, you deserve. Um, you feel like things are upside down. You're not expressing your emotions. You're holding on to baggage. Ooh. All right, so let's see. Um, you feel like maybe like your beauty is false or... Maybe somebody's lying to you. Let's see. Well, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius. What's going on for Sag? The Two of Swords is like you're at an impasse. Um, you don't know which way to go. There could be confusion. It's confusion because you don't have a piece of knowledge. You don't know something. Therefore, it's easier for you to walk away and maybe come back to this and make a decision later. There's a power struggle. You feel like somebody's not cooperating with you or vice versa. You just feel like um, it's something you still don't know with that moon, that crescent moon there. So you just feel like uh, it's best to guard yourself maybe. Let's see. How does Sag feel right now? It's, yeah, you feel like you need to get knowledge of the sun card. You feel like you need to get some illumination. Something needs to be um, brought to the light, brought to the forefront. It's still something in the background. Um, you want to get back to a better place, um, more vitality, vibrance, fun. You don't feel that way for whatever reason. It could have something to do with maybe contemplating cutting off a loved one, romantic, platonic, a loved one. So whomever that could be for you. If somebody did cut you off or they're not talking to you, it says that there's opportunity for reconciliation, but you need to have a plan, a course of action that you two will take together to see it through. Let's see how does Sag feel? The five of wands, you feel kind of, um, you feel all over the place with the five of wands. You feel like something is competing. Six of wands, you, you really confused. of who to choose or about a choice that you've made. Yeah, you know, you're not sure if it's equal give and take, if it's the right choice, if it's healthy. It's bringing you to a level of anxiety, dissatisfaction. You don't feel like somebody's on your level anymore. I heard it anymore. Ooh. You're not taking something serious or you feel like someone else is not taking it serious. Let's see how the person that you are coming to the reading for, how they feel. Let's see, how does the person that's sad just come into the reading for? That, all right, so they feel sad. They feel like they, they normally get what they want. They're the pampered princess, but it looks like now something has changed. Um, they feel like they regret not saying something. They regret doing something. They regret, um, the tears that they have uh, shed or made you shed. Somebody is um, not knowing how to get something back or get something off the ground. Your person is feeling like they need to hold their emotions in. They're trying to maintain their emotional balance. They're not trying to fly off the handle. They could also have a love for you and someone else. Yeah. They feel rejected by you or they just feel like they're getting the bare minimum or you're not excited by the relationship or them anymore. They feel like maybe you have someone else. You're looking for someone else or looking at someone else. They could be spying on you via anything, any mode. You're the, they feel like you are cheating, lying, being deceptive, doing something behind their back. It, you know, you're, you're trying to go undetected. Let's see what the advice is for you, Sag. What is the advice for Sagittarius here? The advice for Sag. The tower. Let it all fall down because in the rubble, right? In the in the midst of it, you'll 
figure out how to rebuild if you will but you'll also see clearly yep seven of wands and you can also put up boundaries if needed um be proactive in whatever it is you want to do stand your ground don't be moved take the middle ground don't veer too far to the left or to the right but just understand that the universe is working with you your angels your spirits they'll let you know what's going on it's like somebody's you got to guard the guardian angel card the knight of pentacles they're just always there with you they're trying to help you release maybe some issues yep help you get to a better place emotionally be able to be vulnerable open closeness firstly with yourself and then um with other people maybe even helping you release how you look at intimate relationships help you make sense of it all and move forward yeah. this is what i have for you sag if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book there ask a question or two by booking the one question one answer at the website level thank you sag catch me live tonight monday 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you guys many blessings